It's Wednesday. That means it is time for this week's Weather Wednesday. And for that, I'll send it over to Tavian Whitehurst. It's very warm outside, not just here in East Tennessee, but in most of the world. March 2023 was tied for the second warmest March on record, and March was also the 529th month in a row with temperatures greater than the 20th century average. That's over 44 years straight of exceeding warmth. Now, March 2023 fell short of the warmest March on record by 0.2 degrees, which is a larger margin than you'd think. A top spot goes to March 2016, which is unique because it was an El Nino year. Global temperature trends tend to rise dr during strong El Nino years, and when sea surface temperature gets greater than 0.5 degrees Celsius above average, then El Nino is considered to be on the way. Now, El Nino is a part of the ENSO, where El Nino Southern Oscillation is the opposite extreme to La Nina. During an El Nino year, trade winds at the equator weaken, letting warm water pool near the South American Pacific coast, like you're seeing in these deep reds and oranges here. So that warmer ocean air fuels an intensification and a southward shift of the jet stream, which then brings wetter conditions to our southern border states, where we here in Tennessee could see a bit of a dry spot. Now, El Nino usually has a greater effect during the winter time. However, its effect on the seasons can vary depending on how strong the event is. This is also interesting because we just fell out of La Nina conditions at the beginning of March. We're barely in a neutral state, and now we could likely see El Nino towards the end of the year. The World Meteorological Organization has even declared an El Nino watch. This could bring more record-breaking global temperatures and maybe some inclement weather, as some have called El Nino the master weather maker. Tavian, thank you. Remember, you can text us your questions to 865-637-1010. And our weather team will answer as many as they can on Weather Wednesday.